We're on top of this breaking news. We want to update you because crews are now working to restore water to the folks who've lost service after a broken hydrant led to this. Dozens of just feet going up into the air, the water just shooting up. That's City right, Heights, of course. Right? Yeah, so damaged, uh, so powerful, I should say, damaged a nearby carport, brought the whole thing down. 10 News reporter Jared Aaron's live in the neighborhood now, and about five blocks of homes are now without power. So, Jared, any idea when the water might be back on for these families? Well, I have great news about that, Jason, Virginia. I just talked to this crew that's working right now. They told me water has been restored to this neighborhood. Now they are working to fix that fire hydrant. You can see the two holes they had to dig, one in the street, one in the concrete. That's a lot of damage, but it's a lot better now than it was a few hours ago when a geyser was spewing from that hole about 50 feet into the air. Here's what it looked like just after 1 a.m. This footage is mesmerizing. This is a shot from our 10 News breaking news tracker, and it really gives you a good idea of how that geyser dominated the skyline. We're told it was spouting more than 5,000 gallons of water per minute. The guy who lives in this house could only watch as the water pummeled his home, knocking down his carport, and some of it trickled inside. He says at first it sounded just like a street sweeper going by when he woke up, but he saw the mess it made when he came outside. Hopefully the car is okay and not much damage, but just to the, you know, the carport, that could be replaced easily. Well, I hope he does have insurance and I hope, <laughs> I really hope that it, it will pay and get everything fixed. Yeah, police found the driver who knocked down the hydrant just a few blocks away. You see his truck damaged, some yellow paint on the front bumper from where he hit the hydrant. He blew a .04 in a DUI test, so under the legal limit, he was not arrested. He was cited, though, for hit and run. And now that the water is uh, back on, things start to be returning to normal. I want to show you, though, the mess that's still left behind for that homeowner that we spoke with. This is his carport. You see it was knocked down on top of his car. No word yet on how much damage was done to the car underneath it. Live in City Heights, Jared Ahrens, 10 News.